Well, it is tax abatement time, and we got to take some time uh, to hear about this, uh, Mark. So help me and everyone understand tax abatement. So we're talking about real estate taxes. Uh, another practice uh, that we do at Styles Law is the real estate department, but we are asked this question a lot. And because we were asked so much a few years ago, Thomas and I did a video on it, uh, was watching it today, actually, on the way in, well, listening to it, on the way in here, and it's evergreen. It still, it still holds the test of time. So, um, you know, we weren't talking about any market specifics, but we were talking about real estate tax abatement. So what is it? On January 1st until the end of January, every uh, resident in Massachusetts has an opportunity to challenge what they're being taxed. Sorry, assessors all over Massachusetts, you may get an influx of applications, but let me, let me explain what that actually means. So you l- open up your tax bill. February is the next tax bill for most people, and you see, oh, my goodness, my taxes have gone up exponentially. You know, why? I didn't budget for this. I didn't plan for this. You know, we have heating, like we talked about on the earlier segment, we have heating uh, and inflation. I didn't plan for this. Why are my taxes going up so high? And there's a few reasons. You know, you may have a new high school in your town. You may have a new library, fire station, senior center. There may be reasons why that bill actually has gone up. Maybe the tax rate itself across the board went up. So how are your taxes calculated? It's, It's the value of the property that the town puts on it times your tax rate, and that becomes your annual tax amount. So if the tax rate goes up, your taxes are going to go up. But did you improve your home, right? Did you improve your home over the years? Has has the value of your home gone up? Or are there other properties in your neighborhood that have sold for ridiculous amounts of money? And over the last few years, that's been happening. So so what do you need to be thinking about if you were to go there? Well, one, you got to prove it out. Right. So you have to look at your tax bill. Mm -hmm. You have to fill out the application and you have to prove out. And when you're proving out, you're proving out the values of properties one year ago. Right. So not as of January 1, 2023, but as of January 1, 2022. So you're comparing the values of that. But you also have to realize that you're opening up a can of worms potentially. Right. So what if it's accurate? You've opened the invitation for the assessor to enter your home to see, and maybe it could backfire on you, right? You could actually owe more taxes. But what I want people to understand is this, that every citizen, every resident has the ability to go in and challenge that tax bill through the end of January. So the time is until the end of January. Now, our friends in Marshfield, Anne-Marie Sinnott, our assessor, wonderful woman, always so helpful to our, our residents, told me... Our tax rate went down in in uh, Marshfield this year, so so there's that. So they're they're understanding. They understand that the values of properties have gone up, and everybody's taxes are going to go up because of that. But you also want to remember that the assessed value and the appraised value are different. A lot of people have that question. We did a video on that as well. The difference between the appraisal that the banks use versus the assessed value, which the town uses. So you have the ability to do it. Go into your town, go online, check it out, but know that it actually could backfire. So, you know, go in with eyes wide open and tread lightly. All right. Good advice. And Mark Stiles, Stiles Laws on Route 139 in Marshfield. And as Mark mentioned, you can go to check out some of the YouTube videos, get in touch with his great team, and connect with him and have your questions uh, answered. But always start with the uh, YouTube videos. They're really just a, a great a uh, way to uh, to learn and to have some of your immediate questions answered, right, Mark? That's right. Yeah, it's it's basically uh, frequently asked questions, FAQs, yep. at Styles Law on YouTube. Or you could give us a call, 781-319-1900, and our concierge will put you in touch with the proper team, whether it's estate planning, mediation, or real estate, which is getting really busy again, Rob. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, real yeah. estate, okay. Green sprouts, we call it. Okay. Good stuff. Mark Styles, Styles Law. We do Feel Good Friday every week at this time. And as mentioned, uh, styles-law.com. The office is on Route 139 in Marshfield. And again, Mark, tell us again how people can get in touch with you and the team. The best is always phone, 781-319-1900. Again, 781-319-1900. But I do encourage people to check out our YouTube page and and watch uh, any video you want. Search within. We've, we've created a bunch of them. 
based on this show and, and the conversations we've had with you, Rob. Oh, thank you so much. Mark Stiles, Stiles Law on Route 139 in Marshfield. This is Feel Good Friday. Mark, have a great weekend. You too, Rob.